Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading and Bias and today I want to do a short tutorial on the Analyze tab. A lot of people uh, watch me in the rooms doing using the Analyze tab and I always have questions on you know how do I use it and you know what's the best way to use it and what do I really need to know and so again I wanted to put together a short tutorial for you on what I consider the three most important things um, to use on the Analyze tab and how to use them and the three things are one how to track your cost basis. Always important because TOS only tracks open positions and not closed positions. So one is cost basis, two is risk reward. You have to know how much you're risking and how much your potential reward is in order to be able to put together a trade plan. Right. The third one is all about adjusting. Whenever you adjust that throws your cost basis all out of whack and I want to show you how to be able to track that. So let's get started. Um, I've got up here on the screen, I've got Boeing as an example. We'll just start there. Um, I like Boeing. It's the darling of Wall Street and all that stuff. It's sold off. And let's just assume that, you know, whenever you're watching this, um, we want to get long Boeing. So we're going to come up higher here and do some type of trade. So let's go to the trade tab. And I'm going to target, um, this is no particular reason for this setup other than um, I want to give it a little time here and I want to, you know, I'm going to target the 340 strike and we'll start with a, just a plain, I'm going to keep this kind of simple just to show you. Let's just start with a debit spread, a call debit spread and I'm going to go 340, 350. So that's the trade I want to do. So, you know, what do you do with it now? Well, right click and take it over to the Analyze tab and we're going to take a look at it. So first, again, first I want to talk about cost basis. So let's assume that in doing this trade that we are not quite sure when we enter if it's going to go down or we're just we're just not sure, right? So let's start with a um, not a full size position. So we start with three contracts here. And let's assume that, you know, over time, let's just assume we started here and Boeing pulls back and we have this position. We like this position. We want to add more to it if it pulls back and we get down here into a, um, a lower price and a, and a loss on the trade. So initially we started with three contracts. Let's just do another three. I'm just duplicating the same trade, right? But let's say on the next three, so we're, you know, we're still not, we don't want a full size uh, position yet. So on the next three contracts, let's say we get them at two, I don't know, let's just say 250. Just have a round number, right? And so now we have six contracts. And, you know, again, now let's just say going forward, um, it drops more. And we are trying to figure out what to do. We still like the position. You know, we still want to be in it. Um, so we're going to pick up, we're going to round this out. And again, I'm just duplicating the trade. We're going to round this out to a, I'm going to do four here. So three plus three plus four is 10. And say on these last um, four contracts, we get them for, you know, I don't know. Let's just say, let's just say a dollar. And so now if you do not have these three um mocked up like this to show um, you may not be sure you know what your cost basis is and I can look at this you can do it one of two ways you can take this and go well I know I bought three here and I know I bought three here and I know I bought four here 370 plus 250 plus one and get out the calculator and add all that up or you can come hover over your expiration line over here and notice this at expiration it says $2,260 so you have $2,260 $2, of risk in this trade divided by your 10 contracts, 3 plus 3 plus 4. So your average cost basis is $2.26, right? Cost basis, pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. But when you have multiple entries like this, it can kind of, you can kind of lose track. And if you, um, 
I don't have any positions in Boeing right now, but if you had this position up, it wouldn't show these separately. It would show 10 contracts and it would actually show the average price over here. Um, so there's two ways to do it, but if you need to look at each individual entry, this is the way to do it. And you can get this from, um, by doing it this way, you can go to your monitor tab um, on the uh, account statement where the actual trade is, and you can pull it up there and look at it. Um, and, and and then analyze, you know, bring the, t uh, the trade, the actual trade over here to the analyze page and look at it. Um, so that gives you several different ways to look at it. Now, that's step one is, is determine your cost basis. Now, this looks pretty straightforward in this example, but what if you had, um, you know, d other different types of trades in there and so forth? It might get a little more complicated. So that is, you know, one of the best things um, to do as far as the cost basis. So I want to keep it real simple and we'll go with this and then we'll then we'll uh, step it up a little bit. So in this example again um, our cost basis is 2260 bucks. So let's go to the number two most important aspect is the risk reward uh, on the trade. Now we know that we have a ten dollar wide spread so ten dollars is the maximum we can make on the trade and $2.26 is the maximum that we can lose on the trade. So what does that look like? Well, $2,260 of risk. Our max profit up here is $77.40, right? Dollars. If we're over, you know, this price right here, we'll get full profit. So that's pretty cool. That gives you a risk reward um, to start with and also enables you, you can't do a trade plan without a risk reward scenario because you don't know, you know, you don't want to shoot from the hip and, and guess. You say, okay, I've got $7,740 of max profit. You know, what do I want, what do I want to make on the trade? Well, obviously we want to make it all, but are we happy with 10% or 20% or 30% or 40, you know, and, and work your trade plan from there, right? Now that's, part one and part two, we'll get into the adjustment here in just a second, but let's, let's complicate it a little bit more and just say that for whatever reason, let's just say that we want to make it a little more interesting. And for whatever reason, we decided that we also wanted to add a butterfly. So now we've got three separate verticals and then we've got one butterfly. Now they're all they they're all the same expiration. So what we've done is we have embedded a butterfly into our trade, right? So there is our butterfly underneath this, you know, our uh, vertical, our debit spread, right? And you know, again, for whatever reason, maybe maybe you want to embed a calendar, or add on a diagonal, or something like that. I'm just keeping it kind of straightforward as a butterfly. So now the trade starts looking kind of a little funky, right? Um, same thing. What's my cost basis? So I don't know. I can get my calculator out and add all this stuff up. Or I just hover up over over here and say, let me unclick this lock and say, okay, now I've bumped my cost basis up to 2960 bucks. What's my max possible profit? Well, at a pin up here at 370 you can make seventeen thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Are we going to make all that? Eh, probably not. But you could, you know, on a pin. But again, that shows you your risk reward, and it shows you your parameters of where you need to be to make additional money, you know, above here. And if you overshoot on the upper end, you're still making money up here, right? So it gives you the analyst tab here gives you um, not only numerically, but it gives you the visual. Um, aspect of the trade and really helps you to be able to look at it. I'm a visual person. I have to look at the trade. I can always do the math. I'm also really good math at math, so I can always do the math. Um, and you can kind of ballpark it in your head, but this is much more accurate to do it this way. And the um, also here the uh, the green line is the expiration line. The uh, purple or pinkish line uh, is today's line. And that's what that's called the T plus one line. And, you know, we can go into that in a little more detail, but um, that tells you where, you know, at different points in the trade you might be. So for the last part, so we went over the cost basis, we went over the risk reward. And for the last part, here's where it gets kind of cool. Let's say we start going up and, you know, say we have a profit in the trade and we think, well, our 
our um, trade plan says that we're supposed to take off, you know, at whatever percentage. Now we've got 10 contracts on this vertical, so let's say we want to, I'm going to analyze opposite trade, and let's say we take off, we've got 10 contracts, let's just say we take off, um, I don't know, let's say we take off four here, and let's say that, let's make it fun and say we got six dollars and seventy cents, seventy-five cents for for this one. So now here's where it gets fun. So we took off, remember we had ten call debit spreads and ten butterflies. So we took off, we only took off four contracts here and you know stocks gone up whatever. Now we have a basically well let's see I'll do it up a little bit more. Let's say we made uh, do it this way because I want to show you guys when it when it starts getting fun. Let's go 725. Um, and this will give you a risk free trade. So we got seven dollars and fifty two cents for it. All right, now our worst case scenario possible is we will make forty eight dollars. We cannot lose money on this trade now at this point. And if we go up, obviously here we make six thousand forty eight dollars. Here we make 15000 with zero risk. We cannot lose money on this trade, right, once we get here. And we've only taken off four contracts. So let's say it keeps going up and we say, you know what, um, we've done pretty well on this butterfly. We're going to take half of this butterfly off. And we got, let's say we got $3.70 for it. And let's say three seventy-five. And again, we only took off half the butterflies. Now our worst case possible is we make 1923 bucks worst case and if we keep going we'll make 7900 up here and we'll make 12000 up here right and let's say it keeps going it keeps going and we decide we want to take off uh, the the last six of the verticals so there's four there's five there's six and say we got um, I don't know another dollar for them, eight dollars and fifty something cents. Um, so now, look at this. Our worst case possible is we'll make seven thousand dollars on the trade. Worst case, you cannot lose. You can't make less than seven thousand forty-one bucks if we were to get these prices. And we still got five contracts on the butterfly left, right? So let's say we keep going, and you know we want to hold out some to the very end. We'll take off two here and just say we get. I don't know, you know, four dollars and seventy cents for them, something like that. And we're holding out two to try to get a pin. We come up here, and let's just say for fun, you know, that we get on our last um, three contracts here, that we get, I don't know, five dollars. I'm just making up numbers. Five dollars and seventy cents, seventy-one cents. Um, and now we're flat, right? The trade is gone. We made $9,000 on it. That's pretty cool, right? Um, how in the world are you ever going to figure up this on your P&L? Well, that's it. This is tr entry one, entry two, entry three, etc. You know, one here, two, three, four, five, six. And you guys see me when I have my trades on in the, in the room, and I know people are scratching their head going, what is all this stuff he's got on the screen? That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm tracking the trade step by step by step. I have the exact cost basis over here. So I know what I paid for this bunch. And I know I paid for that. And I know what I got for this. I know what I got for this, you know, etc. cetera. Um, and you can track that separately on, you know, take that information and track it separately, separately in a spreadsheet or, you know, wh however you track it, um, yellow legal pad or whatever. doesn't matter, but at least you have it now and you know exactly you know what to get. The beauty of doing it this way is that I'm, I'm scaling out or I'm easing out of trades and I can tell you know how much risk I have on and how much risk I want you know to keep on at any point in time and I always have every step along the way I have a little objective you know my first step is to want to make any money two is to get a free trade get a risk less trade um, by making enough to shave some off and then I've got some to play with right I can keep those and let them run and so forth 
but you'll never be able to do that if you don't know what your cost basis is and you don't know what your risk reward is and again this is going through the this is not so much of the adjustment part but the coming in and coming out in multiple um, multiple lots in different time frames now the adjustment part um, is very similar to this if we have a trade for example you know that we have to defend and we have to roll the spreads down or up for example here you know if we had decided to roll these from 340 350 and we roll them down to 330 340 we would simply close this out and then reopen another one here and track it that way it's very straightforward um, if you know how to do it and again um, to me those are you know the three main things that you really need to know on the analyze tab um, in order to you know you've got to know what your profit is you've got to know how to track this stuff um, otherwise you know how do you you know how are you going to know what your profit target is going to be how are you going to know when to come in when to come out when to add more and so forth you've got to know what your risk reward is um, and you've got to know as you adjust trades what the what you know what the cost basis is and how it changes things right um, so those are the three most important things I think on the analyze tab um, I know we went over these fairly quickly but this should be plenty to get you going get you started um, what I'm going to do I'm I am I've put a class together um, much more there, there's a lot more to it there's so much information to the analyze tab and to toss in general this is just for toss um, but I have a class we'll go into a lot more detail uh, we'll go over the Greeks of course this is another huge component of the analyze tab um, all the settings here how you can um, move your wits and check your probability of profits and so forth there's so much more to this uh, probability analysis and so forth um, and then charting you know you have all the different things in charting how to go through and add and adjust you know and make all these different uh, settings so you can flip through real quick and go to different charts the whole purpose of getting more efficient at your platform is so you can get through trade you know analyzing trade looking at trades setting them up decide if that trades good or not and pass you know I want to take this trade or I'm gonna pass so the more efficient you become at your platform literally the better trader you will be if you can learn to navigate quickly and not get hung up and not get lost and you know and be able to jump from tab to tab and go through now there's so much information here in the trade tab that you you need to know um, monitor tab all these different ones have a lot of features and um, again I have a class uh, that goes into very great detail on all of the functionality of these um, you can look for it in the online store and um, otherwise I wanted to make this um, this short tutorial uh, available to you guys and um, I hope this helps I'm sure we'll be talking in the room a lot if you have questions on this certainly ask me and I appreciate your time and let me know your thoughts thanks a lot guys I appreciate it have a great day